It's a Crazy Pony 1S LiPo charger with Micro JST and JST PH 2.0 for blade inductrix, Tiny Whoop, and MCPX. Uh, they're selling now for $14.99. Regular price is $19.99, so you want to get it while it's hot. Uh, this is what it looks like. Go ahead and open this up. It's got a uh, connector which I think I have uh, for my Sky RC charger so that's good. Some tape on it. Break out the old hobby knife. So we got that urban cir circuit board look to it, which is kind of cool. Um, be careful about where you lay this. You've got exposed contacts everywhere, so this might be something we want to mount on, uh, on a piece of plastic or insulate in some way especially since you got a lot of current going through this. So if you use this, uh, do put it on obviously a highly insulated surface. Um, again, you, uh, because you're charging lipos, you don't want a, a flammable insulated surface. So it gets a little tricky, but um, this stone might be a, a good surface for us to test this out on. So um, that's what we'll go ahead and do. We'll put him over here. We've got our package, incidentally. That's what that package looks like. Um, okay, so you can see we have connectors for both the uh, micro and the tiny JST style connectors. We're saying that you can use a LiPo to charge the LiPos. So you have a field charging solution, I assume. So you, uh, basically I think you can connect this up to a battery. I'm not, it doesn't say anything about this micro USB. Perhaps that's for firmware. We'll have to look into it. Anyway. Alright, so um, we've got this connector on our SkyMax um, B6 mini charger. And we have one of these. Uh-oh. Don't believe... Houston, we have a problem, and I don't have anything else that works like that. Darn, I thought that would do the ticket. I guess wrong. So you would think, though, if this is going to go to a charger, that this would be... So I guess that's designed to go to the battery. That's for mini USB charging? Ah, young grasshopper, I see a problem. Okay, here we go. I think, Houston, we have a solution. All right, so I do have actually a 0.5 amp charger, so we should be good for some of these. It's not gonna charge fast. However, I would have thought we could just... All right, so let's see how this works. We go like this. Imagine we would not put this on hot, so we'll probably turn this off first. Something like this could use some instructions. Tech writer might contribute some help to tips on this, or let's get on the blog. Maybe on the Crazy Pony website they have some information that I can look into. Alright, I turned off that one. Notice this is not there. These are in the down position. on and they're labeled too oh okay it's these are current selector switches so it's not a identifier it's a current selector switch so the default is set to 500 
in the top position they're at 200 so that's 200 so that's fast charge down slow charge up anyway uh, we'll take a look and see how long it takes to charge these guys um, and I'll get you some time back on that in the meantime I did check out a, check out a flight of this yesterday and we got about eight minutes in the air uh, I, I was impressed I was really really impressed actually um, so it can hold the weight of this with the body and the thing uh, the um, the transmitter and uh, camera unit um, get still about eight minutes in the air uh, I was flying indoors not too too aggressively but a lot of hovering um, and some low floor surfing uh, just to, to try to see if we can use the ground effect so that may have contributed to its lasting ability but I did give it a good go I wanted to get back to you on the crazy pony 1s lipo battery charger for the micro JST 1.25 and the JST PH 2.0 connectors. These are used for the, uh, the Tiny Whoop and Blade and Duck Tricks style um, drones like this, things like that. Uh, okay, so I was trying this in actual production use, um, giving it a go for a race, and I found some limitations. One is um, actually its design. Uh, it's basically an open circuit board with a lot of exposed connectors, including these capacitors right here at the end. Everything rides on that. So there's some delicacy issues, uh, but most importantly, there's a lot of risk for shorts. Shorts mean fire. Fire is not good. So, and it of course destroys equipment. Um, the other thing is that these connectors are weak, uh, and just putting them in and out a lot will put a lot of strain on it, they'll keep bending up on you, and you'll end up re-soldering them back on and off again. Um, you can actually see right here, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there's some actual erosion in this trace right here due to overheating, and that was because um, as I was inspecting this, I put it down on my bench and there was a little piece of metal and bang, it shorted out. So. Uh, and I could smell it. You don't see anything, but you can smell it. And that was when it wasn't even plugged in. The batteries alone have enough current to do that kind of damage. Um, so anyway, uh, I thought about it, and, and I like the product because it's handy, and it'll be great for erases. However, I can't just see bringing this into the show and dropping it on a, uh, on a table and, and plugging it in. Someone's going to leave a drink mark or something that's going to just be enough electricity to short things out, ruin a battery on you, and ruin your race. So um, I came up with something. Uh, I made this out of, it's not wood, because uh, it's a backing for the product so that the product actually bolts in and then it gives you channels to slide the batteries into so that the batteries don't wiggle, they don't flex, everything's secure all the electrical contacts are protected so nothing can short out yet you have easy access to the switches at the top and easy access to the connections so that's what I came up with I'll show you how that works but I had to drill in a couple of holes uh, there and um, incidentally these channels are only about an eighth of an inch deep uh, just deep enough to center it's it's essentially the depth from here to there so that's that's how I measured it and this board just rides and floats basically at surface height uh, so that the components are not crushed underneath and are in the gap underneath it so that that's the way I, I came up with this thing um, it's actually made from a piece of uh, composite decking which is fire resistant and uh, also obviously non-conductive so it has the properties we're looking for and it'll fit right into your uh, lipo bag so that you can actually charge and put it in your lipo bag um, and you can see that uh, you can just basically slide these connectors in you got access to either your USB or your battery connector and you're good to go these switches are still accessible. So uh, I recommend either uh, building something like this or coming up with something even more creative. Um, you can email me at peter at dreamcutter.com if you have any questions or requests. Um, that, 
that's about it. Uh, so overall, when you have it in a solution like this, I think it's safe and it's a good product. Uh, however, as it stands on its own, I really can't recommend it. I'd rather go with a cable harness. That's just my opinion. Um, of course, this does have the fast charging uh, ability, so uh, uh, your call. Anyway, thank you much, and uh, please subscribe if you enjoyed what I've done.